All right. So, I realize that uh, I'm a little late with this video, and no, I'm not going to write anything on the blog. It's just going to be a video, because that's all you need for this kind of thing. Um, as I said last time, I was going to try to do the psychological science of attraction and apply it to a rather common ship, which is like taking, it's this internet culture that takes fan fiction, more or less, and combines two or more fictional characters together, saying like, in I would, almost a romantic kind of bonding. So, like, basically, what if they were attracted to each other, what if they got together, so on and so forth in a relationship. Um, so, and I said this, I would do this. And I did a uh, typo, which is the tigress and po. But the ma main reason I did this is to show the psychological signs of attraction and applied something fun. Um, as you can see here, uh, there's many signs. There's four main ones that almost every single psychologist agrees on. And that is the, especially for women, um, the lifted shoulders. Uh, men actually puff out their chests. Uh, so, sort of like that guy right there. He's kind of showing a few, yeah, that's just a joke. But they kind of have raised shoulders. They kind of bare their neck. Um, they have either pigeon toes if they're flirting or not pigeon toes and they're actually straight. Um, there's a saying like your feet point where your heart is pointing, you know. So your feet would be point facing the person that you're talking about. Um, touching the hair only obviously in a more romantic way, not like that or like him laughing. Um, Obviously, it's, you know, more of a subtle, romantic way, but, you know, I'm just playing it up a little bit. Uh, crossing your legs, of course, that's mostly applying applicable to women, but definitely crossing your legs is one of those as well, uh, especially if they start kicking their leg after they cross it. Um, boys will tend to do a gentle, friendly punch on the shoulder or side to hide their actual... It's like a way of trying to hide their actual emotions, their actual attraction, but still trying to get that, you know, touching in with the person that they're attracted to. Uh, third, the third psychological signal is the palm reveal. A lot of times when people are attracted to each other, they will have hand motions with their palm facing upwards rather than downwards. Uh, so if someone's talking to you and they have hand motions with their palm facing downwards, they're uninterested, whereas if it's the flip side of things, they they are interested more, most likely. And the, most of these things are just very subconscious things that are not consciously done. In fact, all of them are. With the exception of burying your neck. Finally, there's the forehead bow. Well, this is where I don't think it's more a, like a bow as it is a nod, a very prolonged nod. You're kind of looking up, almost like you're looking up over your glasses at someone. Only you're smiling and not frowning like a school teacher. So, anyway, so we're going to apply this to a lot of people think that Tigris, obviously, and Poe like each other. And we're going to apply these signs of attraction that we just covered and see if they really do like each other and if there is a chance of them even getting together. Uh, this is, I'm kind of tired of seeing people just throw up fluff out there and it's like, oh, okay, you know, but it's because she hugged him in Kung Fu Panda 2 and, you know, we'll cover that. Um, that doesn't, just because someone gives you a hug does not mean they're automatically attracted to you. 
And the reason I chose something from Kung Fu Panda is I think it's an awesome movie, and I'm very familiar with the storyline and stuff like that, so I'll be able to understand things better with this and catch more things. <clears throat> so we're going to start with um, some clips between Tigress and Poe uh, in Kung Fu Panda 2. So... Okay, so here's one thing. I don't know if you could hear the actual video, which uh, we'll try to make sure that that's turned up. But <clears throat> then it, here's one thing. If you look, what those are? <laughs> I've never seen them before in my life. Tigris, you know, this one. People use this scene as Tigris having an attraction to him because she doesn't make fun of him because of his toys. But you have to take into consideration she's also the most mature member of the Furious Five and Monkey kind of... Well, he makes fun of Poe anyway. So, I think she's just saying, you know, making fun. One way you could look at it is, yes, people who are attracted, who are infatuated with another they will overlook certain flaws in the person they are attracted to. Now, you could argue that she is overlooking the very obvious immaturity flaw in Poe. Uh, this guy, Poe, is over 30 years old, guys, seriously. Um, he was like one or two years old when his parents, you know, shipped him off to his dad peeing. You know, it says later on in the movie, you know, I've waited 30 years for this, a whole lifetime to plot his revenge. He's had, you know, he's 30 years old and he still plays with action figures. So that's kind of, you know, immature. And so well, you could look at it in the fact that she's overlooking that flaw, that very obvious maturity flaw. <clears throat> but me personally, I don't... I think it's just because she is the more mature person and she's just telling him, you know, be professional, quit making fun. Now, watch this part. Okay, so he. This. That part was very obvious how Poe does have an infatuation with Tigress. It was obvious in the first one, uh, in the scene where she does the split kick, splits two plates in half, and the ceramic falls on his head and he takes it as souvenir. Um, he seems to have this obsession with Master Tigress of the Furious Five. And so it's, it's very obvious that he is definitely attracted to her. And you will see this throughout all of this. And we'll even go into a couple cases with Legends of Awesomeness, which is the TV show that came as a result of the popularity of the movies. Um... So yeah, he's very obsessed with the fact that he still keeps the action figure, he's very protective of the action figure. There are scenes both in this movie and in Legends of Awesomeness where that's evident. In the first movie, he actually acts out the sounds that Tigress makes, whereas, and he gets more excited about his Tigress doll than he does the other ones. So it's very obvious that he has a very unhealthy obsession with uh, Master Tigers. <clears throat> so let's go, so we see there that Poe is clearly att attracted to her there. Um, let's go with the next scene. Thank you. 
All right, real quick, we're going to cover that. Here's another example of his infatuation. Um, I don't know about you, but I would be too busy holding my hurt hand. And I would think it was like, okay, so you're the type of person who has serious emotional issues and anger management issues if you're going to spend 20 years punching ironwood trees. But that's just my opinion. That isn't really... That's him overlooking one of her flaws, in my opinion, but we'll keep going. Again. <clears throat> so, uh, this punching ironwood trees, how long did you have to do that? 20 years. Oh, 20, 20 years. Jeez. Is there any, uh, you know, faster way, you know, until the, uh, you know, don't feel anything? No. Besides. Oh, oh, oh. I don't think hard style is... I just found out that my dad isn't really my dad. Your dad, the goose. That must have been quite a shock. Yeah. And this bothers you? Are you kidding me? We're warriors, right? Nerves of steel, souls of platinum. Like you. So hardcore you don't feel anything. <laughs> There was an example of what I was talking about earlier with the kind of friendly punch. Now, obviously, he kind of maybe went a little overboard on it and hurt his fist, but you could see that it was definitely a friendly punch, him trying to cover that kind of emotion of wanting to get in close, and so he simply punched her in the arm. Now, she doesn't notice it because she's busy thinking, wow, he kind of just insulted me by saying I have no feelings, but, you know, that's one thing. Now, throughout this whole thing, there's little signs at all coming off of Tigris about any form of attraction. So, we are two minutes into this seven minute, seven, eight minute footage, about a fourth of the way done, and we have yet to see any signs of attraction from Tigris. So, doesn't look good for the whole typo ship. And people saying that Tigers and Poe are going to get together. So. I'm so what are you guys talking about? You guys see that? It's called being awesome. Alright, so we're going to skip forward to the part where Tigris gives Poe a hug. This is one of the biggest pieces of evidence, quote-unquote, that people who ship Poe and Tigris uh, tend to use. And they use this as sure evidence of attraction. Now, <clears throat> looking in context, uh, he is saying, okay, I need to find out about my parents, and he has already jeopardized his own life and the lives of others due to the effects this internal problems are having on his fighting and so he's not focused he's putting everyone else in danger and so you know as the most mature person this person of this team she has kind of a responsibility to make sure everyone else is okay she's also a good-hearted person the fact that she is a member of the furious five shows that she's very honorable so she doesn't want to see anybody get hurt anyway um so. The hardcore can't understand. Tigers, no! Alright. So here you see the hug, and. The hardcore do understand. But I can't watch my friend be killed. No. The hug itself is not a sign of attraction. Uh, it can be if in context with other signs of attraction. Now, we need to look at something that I forgot to mention up when I was mentioning going over the other signs, and that is prolonged eye contact. So let's go ahead and watch. They've already made eye contact. You see how long they have that. Nope. Not very We're long. Hey, she turns around and walks away. So 
Obviously, Poe's pretty okay with it. You know, he's happy, and he would have kept eye contact. But Tigress had no inclination to make long eye contact. She just wanted him to know that she was being serious. Okay, so um, just because she displays a little bit of, you know, sympathy for someone does not mean it's attraction. So this scene has been completely blown out of the water. There are no psychological signs of attraction here. Uh, the only other one that would be present here is... Uh, the eye contact. Alright, so now we're going to move forward again to 636. This is the next most used support for the typo, and this one actually has a little bit of validity. Uh, they make prolonged eye contact, uh, she does not resist his touch, however she did just get shot by a cannon, so it's not much resisting she could do to that situation. But it is definitely evident here that Poe very much cares for Tigress. Uh, so, but if you keep looking for a few seconds more, we may just see our first instance of Poe showing in these signs of affection or attraction. Again, he's very angry uh, that he's caught caused injury to Tigress, so you know he's very upset. Now look at Tigress. She actually uh, reaches out to Poe and has kind of like this longing face. Now, again, that is very close to showing signs of attraction, and it probably is. Um, that one is not, you can't really deny that one as being signs of attraction. However, there is another aspect to it that you still need to consider is that, you know, he already died once and he is her friend at least. And so she doesn't want to see him die again from all those cannons that are on all the, those ships. So, <clears throat> you know, it is much more valid, but it's still not great. But that is the first time right there that you actually see any signs of attraction in the whole movie. And that is almost at the end of the movie. So, I can see where people are getting the typo from this movie at. And, you know, I wouldn't be upset if in the next movie they, the producers and directors and writers did have the two get together, but so far it's not looking great for the Thai Po. It's looking great for the Po, not for the Thai. Right here, prolonged eye contact. One thing to notice here is she didn't do, she didn't have pigeon feet, and she didn't point her feet at him. She pointed her whole body away from him except for her face. Now, <clears throat> generally speaking, um, That would mean that she's not finding any sort of attraction to the person in, we're talking about, which is Poe, generally speaking. Now this part right here, where Poe embraces her and she does not resist, could possibly be a bigger sign of attraction than her actually hugging Poe because this was very sudden and in most cases, human beings who are not attracted to each other resist sudden shows of affection, okay, sudden shows of emotion. In most cases, if you were to go up to, you know, a girl, even if, she, if say you're a guy, if you go up to a girl, say even if she's your friend, and you just out of nowhere go and hug her, you know, you bury your face in her shoulder, all this other stuff, most of the time, they are going to kind of resist and say, whoa, what are you doing? But in this case, she actually doesn't resist, and doesn't comment on it even after he stops hugging her. So that is actually 
it's it shows that it's very awkward for her, but she makes no effort to resist it. So it means she's a little embarrassed because she's in front of everybody else. However, she's not resisting it because deep down she actually you know is completely okay with it. So here is actually the first 100% sign that you know, Tigress is attracted. Nothing else before, even the part where she's saying, you know, okay, that's pretty hardcore. They had that prolonged eye contact uh, right before this. That's very substantial. Okay. Um, excuse, excuse me, circumstantial. It's very circumstantial evidence, and it's not, you know, for sure. But when you couple that with this, then you start to see the pieces coming together. It has taken seven and a half minutes out of seven minutes and forty seconds of this video to finally get to where we're getting some you know substantial evidence showing this go ahead and just finish it off yep there we go so <clears throat> I mean that's great but let's go to some other cases here this is in the series Legends of Awesomeness. Uh, I took stuff from pretty much all the volumes. Uh, this is from Chain Reaction, which was like the fourth episode in the first season of that. Uh, here you see him making these efforts to have physical contact, but he's not being incredibly intrusive. He's not coming right out and just hugging her like he did the last time. But again, he's making this unnecessary physical contact right here. He's saying, oh, you know, I'm seeing some angry lines right here, but he's actually going and touching her in the face. She's not totally happy with that, and she actually does kick him and punch him away from her. Um, so that is not a case of her showing attraction, but there is a case of him showing attraction. Now, here, this is another case where People love to use this as evidence showing psychological attraction. And one ev thing of evidence is this, of this is the people who are attracted to each other will generally stand closer to each other. People will use the fact that she's laying on pole as the kind of big deal, okay? And I get it, why didn't she just lean up against the wall? And then I get the other side of things. People are like, oh, well, of course she doesn't like him. It's just that he's soft and plushy, which is very true. And he was the closest thing, so she laid on him. But the fact that he was the closest individual kind of implies something. Now, we won't, we're not sure if uh, it just kind of cuts into this scene. They're all standing there in their current positions right here. Uh, look how much, how close they are right there. It's like inches away from each other. And then she's got like over a foot between her and the next Furious Five member. And he's got no one on that side. He could have scooched over more and given her a little bit of space. He is officially, they are officially in each other's bubbles, okay? If they're closer than a foot, that is officially in each other's bubbles. That's That means that they are close enough to be intimate. Now, I'm not talking sexually or anything like that. None of this stuff, I'm going into any sexual things at all. Uh, sexual attraction is just not something I'm going to cover. Um, it's something that some fan fiction has deigned to tackle, but that is just disgusting and you have no evidence for that and it's, it's, it's wrong. Okay, but here the fact that they are standing this close together now we don't know if it was Poe who stopped you know in this position standing closer to her which is probably the most likely one judging by our previous evidence or if it was Tigress who initiated this close you know vicinity of standing the fact that she was so close that she could just lay right on top of him is pretty you know that's that's pretty significant um, one of the two, and this, this right here has nothing helps it not at all. The the one where Tigress is laying on Poe helps it not at all, but the one where Tigress is standing next to Poe is the big that has great significance. That is actually a sign that one of these two, and we still don't know which, 
but it, most likely it was Poe, uh, are initiating a close vicinity. The fact that she fell asleep on him is simply because she's tired. That's pretty obvious. All right, now here we start to see many more, ev much more evidence, many more pieces of evidence of Tigress actually having an attraction to Poe. Now, whether this is like a love attraction or simply good friends attraction is still not evident too much. Um, here's the thing. The whole friendly punch, we're going to skip down here first. These both are from the episode of A Tiger's Tale, which is in the fourth season, I believe, fourth volume. Uh, this is the part where he breaks down the door that she's locked in, into the room that she's locked in, and she says, don't ever, if you ever change, I'll kill you. And, you know, she's smiling the whole time. She punches him. It's a friendly punch. Obviously, these are both Kung Fu masters. So their punches are going to be a little bit less, you know, gentle, a bit more unfriendly. Again, she can't feel anything in her hands. So she doesn't know if she's hitting him too hard or not. Plus, she takes a perverse joy in causing him pain anyway. But as you can see, she's smiling. You know, they're making eye contact through the whole thing, except for when he's wincing in pain. Um... That is actually a sign of her being attracted to Poe. So we're, we're able to apply that sign of attraction, and it's pretty obvious. Here is where, when they're escaping later on after this incident, she tells that the master that she was under, who was pushing her too hard, that there's more to Kung Fu. And when the master says, like, what? She goes and makes an armpit fart. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing, earlier in the uh, episode, she was telling Poe, you know, why do you go and teach Monkey how to make armpit farts? And he's like, oh, well, because it's funny. And he's like, oh, I get it. You don't think I take Kung Fu seriously. Well, they, there was a phrase coined in the 1800s called uh, imi uh, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. And so uh, it's actually, psychologists actually recognize it as being a sign of attraction or flattery to the person you are attracted to if you are mimicking them or copying them. And oftentimes it is the female who copies the male, generally speaking. This is to the point where people who get married um, continue to do this, and the older they get, the more closely alike they look physically even after so many years because they they just mimic each other so much subconsciously well she does this deliberately but at the same time the fact that she would do that instead of just saying it or doing something like that could be a sign of imitation now it's not a great evidence piece of evidence but it is something and hey um, those who actually want to see them get together this gives you a little bit of hope even though it's not a great piece of evidence this right here great piece of evidence. You can cite that as evidence for typo. Alright, so we're on our last uh, little segment here. This is in Secret Museum of Kung Fu. I don't know what volume it is right off the top. But this is, they're all bored and they're all in this carriage with um, Shifu driving them through the bike. Oh. Um, and um, he Poe has gotten like this magic set that he's trying out. This could be purely coincidence, but again, this is Poe seated, seated right next to Tigris, and Viper is in front of them on the ground or on the floorboard of the bike carriage or whatever you want to call it. But this, I mean, she's not too happy about it, but, you know, most people aren't happy for in road trips, but here's an example of Poe liking Tigris. Again, we've kind of exhausted the whole Tigris liking Poe things. There's a couple other places like in uh, Bride of Poe, I think is what it's called. Um, that one has a few good examples, but we're not going to go into those because we're running out of time, and they're not super prominent, but there's like one or two other instances of tigers showing signs of attraction, but the rest are pretty much just Poe. And this is an example. Instead of just pulling out uh, handkerchiefs from his, you know, under behind his arm or in his sleeve, <coughs> um, 
excuse me, not sleeves, hat. Um, he pulls out a bouquet of roses and hands it to Tigers. That's pretty obvious right there. I mean, you can't get much closer than that. All right, so we're going to have another video here. We're going to skip forward all the way to 1555. This is in The Midnight Stranger, and this, this little clip here is another example of how Poe is infatuated with tigers. Watch this. What are you doing here? Oh, um, you know, I just thought I'd see if uh, maybe The Midnight Stranger was around. Maybe he needs some help, or... Look at his just... face. Are you wearing... Perfume? Look at his face. Look at that. He's like elated. Um, now, Tigress has obviously got an infatuation with the Midnight Stranger, who she doesn't know is Poe. And so that is that is a sign of her obviously liking. Uh, she had the pigeon feet and the whole, you know, exposing her neck and everything like that. She had a bunch of these signs. And now she's getting defensive no. about it. Of course not. Avoiding eye contact. Maybe. And so then she changes subject and leaves. His expression was just elated. Obviously, he. Well, listen to this part. Oh, man. I want to tell her so bad, it's like I got to pee. He obviously knows that she's attracted to Midnight Stranger, and he obviously thinks that if he tells her who he is, then she will. Uh, be attracted to him then and he is super excited about that but let's watch this part the authority to change that then we would have to fill out certain uh, is everyone okay what's going on oh it's the midnight strip ah! it's Poe Look at that horrified face. Now, she may have a slight attraction to him, but she obviously still finds him somewhat re revolting, repulsive, um, d disgusting, and so this, this is her reaction to him finding that out. He's elated. You can see his face. I'm going to go. Work, Work out. out. No. Throw up. <laughs> okay. So... She's obviously not happy to find out that it was Poe. Now, this is either a diversionary tactic. She doesn't want her fellows to know that she could possibly be attracted to him, or she literally is going to throw up and does not like Poe. Um, I think it's the latter. So there's not a whole lot. As we can see, after evaluating all these signs of attraction, we could find very few that Tigers exhibited. Um, obviously, they, she doesn't have any hair. She has fur, so she's not going to be messing with her hair or anything. But, um, and she can't really stand pigeon footed too much because she doesn't really have feet. She has paws. But overall, she does not show very many signs. I think we covered like three that are actual signs um, that she exhibited psychological signs of attraction that have been scientifically. Uh, concluded to be psychological si actual signs of attraction. Poe, on the other hand, in every single case, we've had like seven instances, and that's not even counting dozens more throughout the uh, Legends of Awesomeness series, where he actually exhibits many signs of this attraction to Tigris. So the whole typo thing almost works, but it's not really strong enough to, you know, eh, it's not really strong to say that there's going to be a relationship involved with this. Uh, Poe, most likely, is what's going to happen is Poe's infatuation with her will fizzle out. Hers, whatever there is, will kind of just die off very soon and quickly. And he's probably going to, if the next Kung Fu, since the next Kung Fu Panda actu has actual pandas in it besides Poe, he's probably just going to find another panda to go with. So, we've learned some psychological signs of attraction and applied them to a fun concept and learned that fan fiction is all it is. Fan fiction. 
Alright, so that's it. I may or may not post another video or post this week. Uh, there might be a video or post next week, but uh, that kind of just depends on how busy I am. I'm going to be pretty busy this weekend, so uh, cleaning up from uh, fleas from the animals and stuff. So that will pretty much be it, but um, other than that, that's it for this video. And once again, I'm not doing any writing on this blog post. I'm just going to do the video, so... <clears throat> That'll be all.